You're going to be talking to the human calculator. Thank God it's you, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Well, I'm going to be talking to him. I'm not going to be participating. Yeah. Uh, we're actually going to give him a little pop quiz right now. Scott Flansburg holds the world record for fastest human calculator. So, Scott, you're going to count by 57. Is that He's correct? Doing that right if you now. would like me to, I can. You just Keep go like going. this 57 okay. plus 57 equals 114, 171228228532. He's not looking at that calculator. 513 570 627 684 741 798 855 912 969 1026 1083 1140 1197 1254 1313 1136 8142 5148 Yada, yada, yada. Wow, we got my one. brain hurts. And Adley and I, after taking about two minutes, figured out the next one was 114. That's, but that's the first we got. That's it. All right, we're going to shut have, us down. We're going to have more with Scott's pretty amazing talents there in just a few minutes. Woo. Wish I had him around when I was taking the SATs. That right. How fast can you divide 673 by 9? Well, Scott Flansburg has already done it. He holds the Guinness World Record for the fastest human calculator. And he's here to talk about the American Math Challenge. But first, we're going to challenge him a bit ourselves. All right. We'll let you prove a little bit of your mathematics styles. Good morning, Scott. Thanks nice for being with you, us. Amy. And you make math look so easy. Are you a genius? What is your label? How did you get to that point? I have a gift to be able to understand numbers and see numbers in a new way. And I've discovered a revolutionary approach that's going to change the way kids learn math around the world. So can anyone do what you do? To a basic extent, the speed I, don't I get think to, I could. Is, right? Well, the speed I get to sometimes is pretty wild. I actually, my brain goes so fast that my mouth slows me down. Are you okay? Well, to prove that point, we have a few equations right. for you. What do you want to you try? have not seen any of these equations beforehand. No. We should point out. Okay. Let's see if you can figure them out. We're going to ask you to add four three-digit numbers together. Okay. Three ninety-seven plus seven twenty-three plus five ninety-nine plus one eighty-four. Nineteen oh three. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, here's a tougher question. All right. It's a long division question. Okay. I like being the one asking the questions, yeah, it's by easy, the way. Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? 923 divided by 7. 131.8571428585. Oh, my gosh. We only had to point yeah, to one. Yeah, I'm sorry. You I actually away. did it yeah. <laughs> more than we did. Okay. All right, last one. All right. I think you've proven your point, though. <laughs> you can do equations backwards. Yes, usually. Okay. <laughs> Usually. Yeah. All right. I will multiply a number by itself three times and give you the answer. Mm. Then you tell me what number I started with. Right. So just tell me the answer you got. Don't tell okay. me the number you started with. Go Here's ahead. Here's the answer. Yeah. And I'll do the cube root. Okay. 912673. 97. That was uh, really fast, and you're yeah. correct. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> okay, so I think you've proved your point, as we said. Now you're here to promote the American Math Challenge, which is an effort, as you said, to get kids in this country excited about math. Yeah. How do you do that? Because that would have been a tough sell for me. I think most kids get off the wrong foot when it comes to math. They have a bad experience very young. Maybe they had to go up to the board and figure something out in front of all their friends, and they mm -hmm. didn't get it right. And that from that moment on, they've decided... As soon as I don't have to do any more math, I'm not going to. So that, that age limit, 9 to 13, is where kids really identify whether they love or hate math. And so we're trying to reach out to all those students to inspire them to be more comfortable with numbers, to build number sense. And just to, uh, it opens up so many doors of opportunity that kids just shut when they choose not to do math. And I think a lot of girls do that, too. That used to be the case. But girls are sneaking in statistically to average out everything because it just used to be the way it was, you know, last generation. And the on, this is a free online math challenge. Yeah, how do kids get involved? Tell, they, tell us that. Yeah, just go to AmericanMathChallenge.com. It's uh, hosted by Mathletics.com, and it's sponsored by Math Counts Foundation, which runs the biggest uh, contest in America to find the best mathletes. And so we're using this contest to find the ambassadors for World Math Day. So this will give all the students in America a chance to warm up and understand how the system works on Mathletics.com. It's 60-second live racing. You create your own avatar and race kids from around the world and get points for every answer you get right. All right, you wanted to teach us a math trick that you just recently discovered. You yeah. call it the nine equation. Show nine us theory. how it's done. When you look at a calculator, there's 10 buttons, but there's no 10. It's really 0 through 9. So okay. I teach kids to count like this. If you want to think like a human calculator, you've you got to think of 10 fingers. Okay. 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0 through 9 are the 10 digits that make up all the numbers in the universe. Okay. The secret to numbers is everything goes back to 9. So look at 10. The first number after 9 is 10. It's written with a 1 and a 0. 1, 0. Add up the digits. 1 plus 0 gives you 1. What's 10 take away 1? Nine. Nine. So try the next number, 11, add up its digits, 1 and 1 is 2, 11 take away 2, 
is 9. 12 take away 3, 9. Every number, just add it up, take it away, the answer is 9. This works for every number what to infinity. What does that infinity. teach you, though, in general? Great question. The way we teach kids math is to use their memory. If I asked you 8 plus 8, you'll tell me 16, but you've memorized it. Right. We don't really use our calculator sense, we use our memory. And so I'm using this to, ins to turn on the calculator in the brain of all the students in America and around the world because this is the missing chapter in math. If students would learn this, numbers would line up, make more sense, they'd have better number sense, then our teachers could teach our kids more math because most kids by fourth, fifth grade, they can't do arithmetic, so why are they going to do algebra? Right. And so this is to help all those kids that are afraid of math and even the parents. The American Math Challenge just isn't about students. It's about parents sitting down with their students. We're challenging them to go on to mathletics.com and to pick their worst part of math and just give us five minutes and let us show you how we teach it and help your child and yourself overcome your anxiety with math. Yeah, because parents have just as much anxiety sometimes doing their fifth graders math. Scott Flansburg, thanks so much. So nice to meet you. Thank you, Amy. Hopefully